Hello and namaste to dear students and all our valued viewers. You are welcome back to Teach Nepal. I'm Vijay Nepani. Today I'm going to present you a new lesson of compulsory English grade 11. That is the unit 5 grammar part of section 1. Here in this video, I'm going to deal with the use of will and be going to. As most of the students, they are confused with the ways of using will and be going to because both will and be going to are used to talk about the prediction or we use will and going to to talk about the things that are going to happen in the future so in this video i'll deal with uh, these things i'll try to make you clear about the ways of using will and be going to therefore i'd like to request you all to subscribe our channel uh, for watching other many existing videos and new videos that we are going to upload in the days to come now let's get started use of will Let's see how can we use will uh, because uh, simply in simple future we can use will to make the sentences as you all know right will is generally used in the following situation first one to express the future information like as we all are used to we are familiar with the ways of making sentences by using will and we use basically we form the sentence in future right simple future she will go to the market she will go to market tomorrow, right? This is the future information. Next is, I will go to Kathmandu next week. It will rain soon. These are the future information. And in order to uh, make sentences for future information, we use will. Next is to express the intention or the recent or quick decision. That is unplanned. I'm like spontaneous or unplanned decision. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, there we are not planned. I'm saying planned, so you know that means it may or may not happen. For example, I am thirsty, I'll drink a glass of water, right? Uh, it's getting hot here. I'll open the window. Did you email your boss? Oh, forgot. I will do it now, right? I will do it now. In these cases, we will just use will. Next is with I think or I don't think, probably I will, etc. Right? With these things, we use uh, will to express our decisions. Right, I'm a decision express like when with I think I will, I don't think I will, maybe I will, perhaps I will, probably I will, right? To make sentence in that way, we use will. For example, I think I'll go on dieting. I'm getting fat, right? I will I think I will go on dieting. Right? Next is I don't think I'll invite Sita to the party. She isn't friendly. Right? So in this way we can form the sentence. She is probably uh, she will probably pass the exam, right? So I'm like, probably at what think, don't think, Sangabani, um, we can use will, right? So uh, here I've told you the three uses. Now, next uses is first uses to express future information, next with a uh, quick decision, another is uh, with I think I will, I don't think I will, or probably I will, perhaps I will, perhaps I want in that way, right? We use. Uh, will will often use words right to express decisions next is to for promising threatening and expressing a refusal a refusal means not accepting denying for example i will buy you an ice cream if you are good this is for promising promise right ice cream can enjoy in that way promising could you do me a favor sorry i i want to come right right sorry i won't come this is for refusal won't come your will is used in negative form. Yeah, I'll report you to the police if you don't stay. They don't do what I say. This is what you call threatening. Threatening, rough promising, or basically, I mean, the conditional sentence used by the doctor. Okay, for making sentences to show or to express promising and threatening. Next is for making request, invitation, and offer. Also, we use will. Okay, request form gonna invitation will like offer will like, I mean we will use gonna so for example I'm having a party tonight will you join me right this is what you go this is somehow uh, will you join me uh, some invitation right or offer also it looks I'll carry the suitcase for you this is exactly offer right I'll carry the suitcase for you in offer my own family or like your inside request family of no come gonna go like request person and offer is for others because we are working for them, right? I mean, other like ye got so that's what you call offer. I mean, offer like ye got like that's what you call request. 
when you open the window here we are trying to make somebody work for us this is what you call requesting and right? will you open the window by means uh, by uh, here it means that somebody is working for us i'm like a silly cake or this this is what you call request now request for re making request for extending invitation and offers we use will so in these five situations we use will right let's do five situations as a key use got some will use got some okay so as a whole will is used to talk about the uh future plans and actions right that are um, almost not planned and right? unplanned uh, plan plan express we can use will to talk about the future actions and events next is to express effect in uh if clause with present time for example if i will stay at home so i will stay at home if the weather is not good Emily, conditional sentence ma chai, type one ma form garda kira pani ke garsa cha will ko use garsa right will plus verb one will be there in the conditional clause okay uh, for example if he studies hard he will pass his exam you know he will pass his exam will is used there so conditional type one ma pani hamile will will ko use garda saksha okay now uh, uh, let's get started with be going to how can we use be going to or going to itself right going to when we take some may think that it's a present continuous and a present continuous just to make sure though the structure is a present continuous it's used to talk about the future actions or future uh, uh, events or the predictions right future like it's express currencies the general equality be going to is used in the following situations first one is to predict the future happening with evidence and a future wise to crown so when it's a i mean evidence side one that's actually that time we can use be going to for example the sky is full of clouds it's going to rain that first sentence is evidence next is what you call future prediction a eh? future prediction of our future money could add like family um predict the idea with the evidences right i mean uh, the sky is uh, if you are saying uh, it will rain then there are no evidences right but here it's evidence right we have the building is very old it's going to fall down right the evidence is that the building is very old so we can uh, say that or we can talk about the prediction it's going to fall down she is sweating and feeling nervous she is going to faint this is what these are the ways of using um or making predictions uh, or predicting the future with some evidences okay Next is to express the action or intention that is already decided. I believe when the argument decide to decide that that is how we are going to do that, or that are the on that are the plan works, plan activities are like express current life. For example, how do you call you when you were in bathroom? I know I'm not going to call him back, right? Uh, so in this way, I'm not going to call him back. That means you have already planned, right? uh next is when we have decided to have a party tonight we are going to make a lot of fun this way we are going to make a lot of fun because already decided right decided to go to second well plan have you decided what to do with the money you want yes i'm going to invest it right invest government plan right but even here usually saying yes i will invest one even saying that shows that this person is not planned simply express this intention that may or may not, may not happen but is, if somebody is saying going to you know going to structure is going to a sentence form we understand that person is almost decided you know decided or already planned by never jinsa we'll use got that on plan going to use got that be going to use got that thing plan money we can understand it now let's see some differences between will and be going to so uh, we will is used to talk about uh, or express future actions decided at the moment of speaking immediate decision otherwise spontaneous decision manager going to the express future plans decided before the moment of speaking prior plans prior plans express going to the uh, immediate decision express will use going for example i will have salad and fish right immediate decision uh, this person was not planned i'm going to visit my aunt next friday already planned to go on friday right Next is um, express a prediction. Will is used to express a prediction based on personal opinions or experiences. Prediction without evidence, but going to the prediction with evidence, right? For example, I think uh, United will win the game. There are no evidences, right? For here, you see, look at the, those black clouds. It's going to rain. So predict, with prediction or without prediction, sorry, with evidence or without evidence, predicting in the future. Okay. Next thing is express a future fact. Future fact: the sun will rise tomorrow. Next is uh, express something that is about to happen. Get back, the bomb is going to explode. In this way, you can use the, you can use the will and going to. But 
both will and going to can be used for making future prediction without having a real difference in meaning right but while using it can be somewhat difficult thing for um, for all of us for the language users so we, what you need to understand is by using will we use the immediate decisions or we refer to the immediate decisions and by using going to or be going to we refer to the prior plans or the plans which are already planned and they are going to take place in the future right in this way now you should be able to use uh, will and be going to in the exercises now let's move um, to the next slide there will and going to a uh, prediction based on opinion a prediction based on something we can see or hear right opinion evidence i think the conservatives will win the next election right that is that's just opinion but here evidence when the conservatives are going to win the election they already have most of the votes right in this way we can differentiate will and going to now let's move to the exercises here fill in the gaps with will or easy mark plus going to um, plus we use verb one right whichever is correct so structures given the will plus verb one is mr plus going to plus verb one with he see it we use is with i we use m right with uh we you they uh, plus pl or pl plural subject we use uh, r right as you all know first one i did it was I did it was a movie last night, uh, right? I have informed my mom I will be late. Now, what can you say? We are going to hear, I have informed my mom. It means plan one. So you can say, I'm going to watch a movie tonight, right? Number B, have you phoned Sam? I know I'll call him later, right? I know I, I will call him later. Or so here, what do you know? What do you need to know? Or what do you need to understand is I know that person knows that he should phone him, right? So already planned, we can understand. So you can say, I'm going to call him later. Uh, uh, number C, I think I did not go for a walk. The weather is lovely. I think I am, I think I am going to, or I think I'll go for a walk. The weather is lovely, right? Uh, next is, oh, uh, here I need to tell you that with I think or I don't think, um, maybe, perhaps, with these things, we need to use will. Right? Number C, okay, so I'm late. Really, will is going to be answer. Number D, I just give you a pen if you don't have. I will give you a pen if you don't have. Right? That's what you call uh, I'm promising or just expressing a favor also. If we get up late, we did not miss the bus. If we get up late, we will miss the bus. Number E, get out of the building quickly. The bomb that it explode so here is going to explode right because there is the um what you call evidence or they have known about that or they have found out the information they have received the information number g i did it buy i will buy you an ice cream if you finish the homework this is what call promising as we did with this number yes it's hot in this room is it i will turn the fan on then right simply i'll turn the fan on Number I, he did it retire from his office. He has written the re resignation later. He's going to retire because we know we have the evidence that he has written the re resignation later. Would you, what would you take? I will have coffee, please. This is what you call deciding, deciding, that's what expression decision, right? Now, next, all the exercises from textbooks are also kept here. So all the exercises of textbook, please. So here you can see the exercises. First examples have been given without any explanations. Look at these examples. Gita is in hospital. Oh, really? I'll go and visit her. Gita is in hospital. Yes, I know I'm going to visit her. Yeah, if there are such things, yes, I know, then you can use I'm going to or going to plus bar one, right? As we did there in the previous exercise. Now here we have number B uh, from the same book, right? Now here it's the matching exercise. It's a matching exercise about matching with the functions of the sentences mentioned there. Match the expressions in column A with their meanings, with their functions in column B, the, with the function of their particular sentence. It's given in number B grammar exercises. 
Now let's see the sentences first. Number A, you can see, what do you want to take? A has asked question and B has replied, I will have a tea, right? So B has replied here, I will have tea, please. So what type of function is this? Now you need to be able to identify what type of function is this. Some functions are given here in the right hand side, promising, threatening, deciding, expressing a prior plan, predicting a future action, offering, predicting with evidence. These are the functions. Now we need to match the sentences with their functions. So first one you can see here, what do you want to take? I will have T please. So this is what we call deciding function. This person has decided to take T. So this is what we call deciding function. Number B. Are you free this evening? He asked question in B and B replied, no, I'm going to meet my uncle. I'm going to meet my uncle. It means it's about two more evening. Might be uh, A asked B before evening. Eh? Evening one. Now we can say this is a prior plan, right? Somebody is expressing his or her prior plan. So this is what we call expressing a prior plan we call, okay? So now next number C, the day will be lovely tomorrow. Are there any uh, evidences? No, okay, evidences, right? just guessing and right? uh, just predicting, right? Predict matra gariko, it is what you call predicting a future action. Future action like predict matra gare without any evidence. Number D, there is no cloud in the sky. It's going to be a lovely day. Right? So there are evidences, cloud, China te wear a lovely day at was sunny day one of the south were sunny day one so when you could see that's what you call uh prediction with evidence and eh? it, it's what you call prediction with evidence or uh, predicting with evidence number e don't worry i won't tell anyone this is what you call pr promising function right we promise our friends or our relatives or family members in that way so this function is what you call promising Next one, you can see, uh, I will take you to the movies if you like, yeah? So I will take you to the movies if you like. So this is what you call offering function. It's matching exactly there. Last one, I'll tell your parents what you did. This is what you call threatening function, right? I'll tell your parents what you did. This is what you call threatening function, right? In this way, you can match things. Now, I have matched here with the functions, right? So promising, threatening, deciding, expressing a prior plan, predicting a future action, offering, predicting with evidence in this way, you also can do this on your exercise copy. Okay, exercise book or on your copy there. Now exercise number C from your textbook, you see, it's from page number one, page number 49. Uh, are you busy? Choose the correct answer. Number A is saying, are you busy this evening? Yeah, and B is saying, yes, I, these are the movies, right? Then what can you say? Um, yes, I will go to the movies or yes, I am going to the movies. So, and number B saying, where are you going for holiday this summer? Right? Not sure. Maybe I did it to Ila. Now here you need to be able to choose. Will go or am going to or will or going to in this way. So number A, what will be the answer? You see, are you busy this evening? Yes, I did at the movies. Uh, yes, I am going to the movies, right? Because this person is already planned, right? We are saying, uh, I will go to, nobody go to one Diego China. Eh? So here we can say, as yes, I'm going to the movies, right? Because this person is already planned. But I will go to the movies one way, right? This person would not be planned. Next is, are you going to, where are you going for holiday this summer? Not sure, sure China. I know we know I'm sure China. We discuss you know. Maybe I will go to Ilam, right? Not sure. I think number C. I think you doesn't like this movie, right? Uh, I think you will like. I think or I don't think with this structure we use will. I've already told you, yeah. Number D. I can't join you at the party. I didn't be away for two weeks. I will. I'm. Um, I will be away. You simply use okay. I will be away for two weeks. That's the future statement. Number E, this exercise looks really hard, right? 
this exercise looks really hard i that help you it means i will help you instantly you are making up uh, your mind right vakari uh, mind you can say i will help you right number f a a is saying hello can i speak to sima please b is saying just a minute right just a minute i'll get her all right you can say um or some of you like saying i'm going to get her right but here as it's instantly happening then you can say i will get her number g perhaps she did not pass the exam perhaps with perhaps maybe um i think sorry um with these things we use will and right? perhaps you know, will exist, perhaps you will pass the exam number yes i haven't got my phone that's okay i did not lend you mine right i will lend you mine simply we say because this person is just making up his mind right bakari right in that way we use will number d here let's see the next exercise complete the sentences using will or be uh, going to with the verbs next you see Ari, did you call Binita? Oh, I forgot. I will call her now. Forgot means not plan. I know busy right now. The weather. Bakari will say, "Mind me, go I will call her now. Number B. Sunita, have you got a ticket for the play? Yes, I did not eat on Saturday. Right. So what do you need to say here? I'm going to watch it on Saturday because she has already bought a ticket. Right. Number C. The alarm is ringing. It's making. An awful noise. Okay, I did it off, right? Then I will switch it off, right? Because this is just immediately this person is making his mind to making up his mind to switch it off. I know, Bakari, or switch off. Got you under that. Number D, do you think they did the presents we got for them? Do you think they will like the presents, right? They will like the presents we got for them. In this way, we can use will here, right? Will plus bar one will like the presents. Number E, uh, lock or uh, lock is starting university tomorrow. What did it, what did it study? He study you need to write, right? Uh, lock is starting university tomorrow. What will he, what will he study, right? That's the question. What will he study? Or, uh, but what if you say what will he study? This is a spontaneous decision. If you want to uh, now you need to make plan decision what is he going to study what is he going to study that's the thing right because it's already his plan to go right so here you can say what is he going to study number f if i meet him i did him the news so this is if sentence conditional sentence the way i'm late will plus power one is well so if i meet him i'll tell him the news number g the phone is ringing i did it eat. the phone is ringing I'm, uh, you see, I will answer it. Simply we can say, I will answer it, right? A number yet, if you don't stop bullying her, I will tell the teacher, right? This is what you call warning, right? Warning or threatening or in this way, we can use will be and going to. Here. We dealt with the use of will and going to with some exercises and examples. I hope this video is beneficial to you. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any queries and confusions about the videos or anything to say about this, please feel free to write it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching it.